The Alabama Crimson Tide, a winner over Florida 5-3. to three. They secure the regular season championship, and they are the number one seed heading into the SEC tournament on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday right here in Tuscaloosa. Beth Mullins along with Olympic gold medalist Jessica Mendoza. They lose on Friday to Florida, but they come back strong with wins on Saturday and Sunday. And for the third year in a row, Alabama, the SEC regular season champs. Well, there was no way there was going to be a sweep of either team. You know both teams were going to be fighting today. 5-3 to three is the perfect score to show the example of both teams never giving up, fighting back. It all started really, though, for Alabama in that first inning. That was key for them, really setting the table with, with Bro and Fenton and then Kayla Hunt coming up big early. Two RBIs to score both Bro and Fenton. And that just set the tone. It got the crowd involved and got everybody knowing that Alabama was going to win. But... Jackie Trainer being able to hold them in the game so tough, facing Florida all three days and being able to mix her pitches and still keep them off balance and off the bases. 31 and 2 on the season now for Traina over the three games, 355 pitches. And she gets the win. Six strikeouts today for Traina. Kayla Bro, outstanding in the leadoff spot, went three for four. So they are the number one seed in the SEC tournament. Tennessee actually gets the two seed. Florida with the back-to-back -back losses falls into the three seed now heading into the tournament. And the Lady Vols are the defending champs as we get set for Thursday. Now I'm looking forward to the SEC tournament. A lot of good softball still left to be played and a lot of you saw emotion. And I think that's what we carry into the postseason and we're going to see a lot of what we're going to see in the postseason in that tournament. Yeah, Tennessee w with the hot hand going in. Winners of 18 in a row. They are the two seed down at the bottom to face Auburn. Florida will get LSU. And then in the top half of that bracket, those will be the night games on Thursday. Alabama, Mississippi State, and then Georgia and Kentucky. The Cats, two games now above 500. A sellout crowd again. A great atmosphere here in Alabama celebrating a title. 